Welcome to the BlackRock College Annual Business Lunch 2019. Seems like I want to say, you buy your ticket. Seeing what everyone's up to and seeing can we do it together. Today's gathering of over 600 attendees demonstrates the strength of our union and our close affiliation to the college. I'm here today because it's tradition, I suppose, the business lunch is something that my father, my uncles, my cousins, brother all come to. We've been coming here for about 10 years. A lot of people I'd recognise from around town, the faces, but you never actually get the names. I think it's, it's a great way to keep in touch with uh, BlackRock. Obviously everything changes every year, so there's always a new story to tell. Looking forward to listen to what Joe Smith has to say. And... But four individuals in particular deserve a special mention. And they are, of course, Bridget O'Byrne in the union office, Frank Keane, Past President John Rogan and Peter Murnaghan. Okay, this lunch has become the largest secondary level alumni event in Ireland and we need to thank our sponsors for their continued support. They are AIB Bank, Eugene F. Collins, my own firm CPL Recruitment, MMPI, Spirit Motors, Quilter Cheviot, Eisner Amper and Natterjack Whiskey. We really appreciate your support guys and we thank you. I'm proud and delighted to announce the recipient of the 2019 Business Person of the Year is Kieran McLaughlin. I am very flattered to be recognised uh, today as the honoree. I've had a long association with BlackRock. Uh, I was very privileged to go to school first in Willow Park and then to the college. Never very distinguished at anything in school, uh, but in those days you didn't have to be, as five passes and a leaving cert allowed you to do anything in college. <laughs> I have no great philosophies or lessons of what should work for everybody else, but for me it's probably just hard work and trying to get on with people and have some common sense. I just want to say something about Joe Smith. I believe he's made a fantastic contribution to Irish rugby, and I think all Irish rugby supporters should be unequivocally always very grateful for that. It is an emotionally charged game, and I know most of you in the room have played it, and uh, you, you inevitably, sometimes, you just hit a flat patch and there's always a risk of that, particularly when turnarounds get tight. Often people talk about what isn't being done right, when I still think there's a hell of a lot being done right. You know, we've won almost 75% of our test matches in the last six and a half years. I came back from the World Cup, you know, you're aware of what's in the media, but you're not aware of what people are saying. And um, it wasn't until my wife zipped me down to uh, Spain for a few days because I wouldn't go out of the house pretty much and we met Irish people every day we were down in Porto Benus and uh, the first couple was this couple from Kerry and they came up to me and they said hi um, Joe well done we're, we're, uh, we're from Kerry so we know nothing about rugby but you've given you've given us and you've given the country a real lift and we really appreciate it and I thought wow that's great as long as nobody knows anything about rugby, um, I'm going to be off the hook, you know. The union and the school continue to work together very closely under the guidance of, of Alan McGuinty. We have over 8,000 members spread across 64 countries. And through our ambassador program, we hope to reach 10,000 members by 2021. The school academic results were excellent again this year, and success across all activities has been phenomenal. The Blue and White Fund work tireless in a, in a confidential manner to help fellow rockmen who have fallen in hard times. Stephen Byrne and his team do fantastic work behind the scenes. Thank you, Steve, for all your work in this area. The Mission Fund was established to provide financial assistance to our, our spirit and missionaries. The ethos of education and sustainability helps to give a number of children the opportunity of an education in Machakas School and the chance to break the cycle of poverty. Aidan Corliss and his committee continue to do incredible work with the Mission Fund, again behind the scenes, so thank you Aidan. The school motto is Fides et Robur, which as we know means faith and strength. There is no one in this room who embodies that motto more than Father Tom Nash. But I would ask you all to raise a glass and wish a happy birthday to Tom.